let's look at additive group of integer modulo m in the modular system we have already looked at in one of the previous sessions in this series so let's proceed let's say we have a set 0 1 2 3 and so on up to m minus 1 okay so basically these are first m non negative integers and they form a group under addition that is modulo addition okay so we know by definition a plus m b is equal to r so how would how would we uh, look at this remember this can also be written as a plus b m equal to r so what this implies is that r is the least positive integer remainder when a plus b is divided by m that means that the remainder will always be between 0 and m minus 1 right it can't be more remainder can't be more that means it can be divided further so either it will be 0 or it will be 1 2 3 up to m minus 1 now what we are saying here is the additive group of integer modulo m so that means we are saying that under addition these remainders form a group so let's prove that okay and the easiest way of doing that is to take an example and draw the Cayley's table right so let us say uh, we are doing modulo 6 that means what will be the numbers 0 1 2 3 4 5 and similarly here 0 1 2 3 4 5 and now we just start adding them up 0 plus 0 is 0 0 plus 1 2, 1 2 3 4 5 similarly here 1 plus 0 1 2 3 4 5 1 plus 1 2 2 plus 1 3 3 plus 1 4 4 plus 1 5 5 plus 1 is not 7 now it is 0 why because remember we not only have to add them but we have to divide them by 6 so for numbers less than 6 that number itself will be the remainder but the moment it crosses 5 we will end up with remainders but when it is 5 that is m minus 1 that is 6 minus 1 5 that time it will be from 0 to m minus 1 that is 6 minus 1 5 so here 5 plus 1 6 6 divided by 6 is remainder is 0 similarly 1 plus 1 or 2 3 2 plus 2 4 3 plus 2 5 4 plus 2 6 6 divided by 6 remainder is 0 5 plus 2 7 7 divided by 6 remainder 1 similarly here 4 5 6 divided by 6 remainder 0 and after some time you suddenly you will start realizing that there is a pattern 1 and 5 plus 3 8 divided by 6 remainder 2 now i am sure you can see the pattern now this will be 5 0 1 2 3 this will be 0 1 2 3 4 so we have built the Cayley table now as far as the closure axiom is concerned all the elements of the table belong to the set G yes so therefore closed under addition addition modulo m okay so this is closure axiom 
Now using Kelly's table, remember associativity we can't show. So let's go to the next one that is identity. Associativity, we'll look at the end. Identity X. Yeah. So how do you figure out the identity? Is the column headings repeating exactly as it is in the in one of the rows? Yes, the first row itself. So on the left hand side, whatever you have is the identity. So identity E is equal to zero. Okay, inverse axiom. Now, how do you figure the, this out? For zero, what is the under the column zero? You see where it is zero and go to the left. So inverse of zero is zero. Inverse of one is what? Go from one, go down till you reach the identity that is zero. Five is the uh, inverse. Similarly for two, what is it? For two, keep going down. Zero is there here and the corresponding row is four. And again, you will notice a pattern for three. It is three for four. It is three. Let's confirm this for four. It is two for five. It is what one for five. It is okay. So each one of these inverses are part of the group. So therefore, for every element, in this set there is an inverse which belongs to that set now let's look at commutative axiom okay how do you figure out uh, commutativity from uh, uh, Cayley's table just look at the primary diagonal or main diagonal and see whether it is symmetrical across so here you have 5 5 4 4 4 4 0 0 0 0 one 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 two two one one not this two this two and this two okay three three this three and this three this five and this five similarly three three two two so basically it is symmetrical across the main diagonal so therefore commutative now when it comes to associativity we need to do it properly associative axiom we can't use the uh, Kelly table so let a b and c belong to g so then a plus m b plus m m c is equal to a plus m b plus m c this is what we have to prove this is what associative associativity means here so let's start off with the left hand side so we have a plus b plus c which we can write it as a plus and this can be written as b plus c mod m right which means this can be written as a plus b plus c m and remember these are normal additions so which means it is associative normal addition is associative that means we can write it as a plus b plus c right which implies again now we go backwards you know bring m in in so a plus b m plus c which implies a plus m b within bracket plus m c which is nothing but the a plus m b plus m c right which is equal to RHS. So we have proved that this is associative as well. So therefore, this set of integers modulo m forms a 
group under modulo addition okay now it is not only a group remember it is an abelian group because commutative commutativity is also satisfied another thing is if we pictorially represent it see we start with zero see here in the kelly table itself you can see modulo 6 in this particular case so the remainders go from 0 to 1 to 2 to 3 to 4 to 5 and after 5 it the remainder becomes 0 again so this is also a cyclic group okay i think that's enough bye